Hello everyone, it's Serpent, and in this video I'll be showing you my design for a uh, binary decoder with a with one one apart outputs outputs. Um, at, well, basically, as you can see, the outputs are uh, tiled; they're they're right next to each other, and that's a little bit difficult, uh, as you can see over here with my uh, large scale uh, contraption. The outputs are, they, they've got one space in between, and that's pretty hard to get past because over here, or uh, yeah, over here, this, uh, the way we split it over here is that the, this one piston pushes the block back and forth, and it's the same for this pair over here, and that pair, and that pair, and that pair, etc., um, of outputs. But over here, um, we can't do that because the outputs are too close together. So we have to find a, a, a new way of um, splitting the output from between these two and these two and these two and these two, etc. Um, and what I've done is I've basically just used slime blocks. Now that might be a <laughs> fairly obvious thing to do at this point, but when I was uh, trying to figure it out it was actually quite difficult. And of course, since slime, slime blocks stick to each other and other things, you have to have one, you have to alternate one up here above the redstone, above the uh, repeaters and outputs, and one below. And you have to place, the next one would be below, and then the one after that above. And the reason for that is of course that they stick together. If this was um, here and then the other one was also like this, um, when it pushed, it would be pushed into here, into this one, unless you timed them perfectly, which is something that I don't really want to uh, care about. But if you did time them at the exact same time, it would probably work. I haven't tested that, though. Uh, back behind this point, all of it's just normal stuff, uh, normal wiring with the same splitting mechanics. If you want to know how, how that works, you can uh, visit the video. I've ha I have a link in, in the description. It's about how they work. Um, the binary decoders, that is. So, the next problem after that is that you have to have the outputs, right, or you have to have um, the redstone powering to that swapped from block to block right next to each other again, uh, as you can see over in this one. Um, we have these two split apart and uh, these two can, can split apart as well, but these two mainly, and then these two. And that's easy to wire because they're uh, apart, <laughs> and you don't have to worry about any of the uh, shenanigans that you do over here about um, redstone lines connecting. And uh, over here I've just solved that with some repeaters, because they don't connect to the sides of repeaters, redstone dust doesn't connect. Um, so that's also not too difficult. Um, and that's about it, really. I know it's not a whole lot to use on a whole vi on a whole video, but it's uh, I th I thought it was pretty cool, and I had a little bit of trouble figuring that out, so I thought I'd share it. Uh, as you can see, th this does actually work. I haven't actually shown that, but you can see that zero, one, um, two, three, etc. Um, and yeah, that's basically just a normal binary decoder after the uh, clever redstone right here. Of course the outputs don't also don't have to be uh, redstone torches here and redstone lamps. They can be anything like um, over, yeah it's over here. Like over here we have it uh, in, a, in one of the storage system things like the one that I've been teleporting to. Um, this one doesn't actually work but that's beside the point. Uh, the binary deco the decoder works fine. Anyway, that's about all I wanted to say. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.